Well, here's the front panel of the Clegg 20 Tour Mark II. This unit was built uh, around 1970-71 as a transistor receiver and a tube transmitter. We're going to look inside here in a minute. This was one of the last products built by Clegg. It had made a few more after that, but this one of the last few. It's a very nice unit, very well built. Uh, of course, a completely separate transmitter receiver. Here's the tuning for the receiver. You see it has a fast and a slow mode here, 144 to 148 megacycles. Volume control, uh, noise limiter, squelch, simple on-off control. Here's your frequency for the transmitter. Pretty coarse. And of course, here's the meter to, to measure your uh, S units on receive and transmitter current on transmit. Crystal uh, input if you wanted it. Switch between crystal and VFO. This would operate with a crystal input, and here's the VFO for the transmitter. As far as tuning, we had grid tuning, tuning for the plate, and loading. It's a Pi network inside. Very straightforward, very nice controls. One of the really nice products that Clegg put out. Of course, he put out good ones. And he was very proud of the modulation. All of these units that they built for 6 meters and 2 meters uh, had wonderful modulation. Okay, this is the inside of the Clegg 20 Tour. Taking a look at the components inside. Here's the uh, control relay switching between transmitter and receive. And the receive section coax comes over here. So this is the receiver section right in here. And the receiver front end over in this area with the tuning, tuning capacitor for the receiver down here in the front board with the components on it and the rest of the receiver down here, a little crystal filter. And so the receiver is all transistorized, which is uh, probably some of the earlier transistor uh, radios. In terms of the um, transmitter, here's the power transformer. The unit runs on 110 AC, some filter capacitors. Here's the uh, modulation transformer, modulation tubes, the oscillator tubes, and down in here is the um, VFO for the transmitter, and the transmitter driver tube, and the transmitter final tube. If we take a look from the other side, we can see some of these components a little bit uh, better. Yeah, looking at the underside of the Clegg 22 or MK. Oh, you see over here on the left, this is the bottom of that receiver. Uh, a few filter capacitors and basically uh, discrete components making the system operate. Here's the final uh, transmitting uh, tube circuitry, a little tuning uh, capacitor here for tuning the grid to resonance. Some of the tuning circuitry here and oscillator circuitry and modulation circuitry back in in this area here. Not too much to see down here, but it's, like I said, very clean construction. If you look at the date codes on these units, you'll see they were um, in the late 60s, early 70s, so the unit was built after 1970. Back of the Clegg 22 is pretty simple. This unit here uh, is Clegg Serial number 22860481. Looking at the back side, here's some of your AC control switching, remote switching, of course your fuses. The power connector and the audio connector were all connected through this connector and all these connections here on this Molex connector. Audio gain control, key for transmitting. And here's the uh, connection for the antenna. A couple of power transistors here on the back. That's it. Beautiful, uh, beautiful rig built just in around 1970. And uh, like I said, one of the last products that Clegg put out and very beautifully uh, constructed.